The next thing in MATLAB is while loops. While loops, similar to for loops, allow us to run a certain number of commands for multiple times. Uh, but the difference is that there is no certain number of times that you run a command. A while loop runs the number of commands or the lines that are within the uh, loop of the while as long as a condition is true. So let's say clear, close all in CLC, my um, favorite or my, my common line of code in the beginning of my script. Unless I define a variable a equal to zero, I'm going to say while a is less than 10, a is equal to a plus one. And it's very important to, to make sure that the condition will reach a true value uh, or a, a condition that will make the while to stop. If I said while a is always, or while a is less than zero, and this is never going to happen, this will turn out into an infinite loop, which means this loop will never end. And the only way for me to get free of and then this infinite loop is to force exit MATLAB through the task manager in Windows. So I'm going to say a for a uh, while a is less than 10, add one value to a and put an end in here. So what I'm expecting to happen is that this while loop runs for 10 times and each, at each time uh, adds one value to a or adds or updates the value of a by one. And when a becomes 10 or greater than 10, it just stops uh, running. So if I run this piece of code, see that a is equal to 10. If I print a, a becomes 10. So that is the simplest way of running a while loop. But I want to define another variable, cnt is equal to 0. As you can see, I put two lines of code, or I defined two variables in the same line, and that's because I have a semicolon here. And because it's a simple, I can just write that and make more line more, more my code more uh, optimized and readable. And I'm going to say while cnt is less than or equal to a hundred, so run multiple or run at most hundred times and do cnt is equal to cnt plus one and add random one one so and then at the end f print f a is equal to give me a um, I want to do a floating number so say four point or six point four f which means put six digits but four of them are after the decimal point and this is a flo floating number and then go to the next line. So if I run this, this while loop is going to run for 100 times and at each step a random number, a random uh, scalar number is going to be generated and be added to the previously s stored A value. And here it will just save, the, uh, print the value and I had forgotten to give the, um, the parameter to my f print f. So if I run this, after 100 iterations, I got A is equal to 48.0888. So this is a value. I could actually try printing A at the end of each step. Let's actually do that and let's see what happens. See that at, it, at each step it's actually printing A and it goes to 52.0156. But let's say I wanted to make sure that if within these 100 steps, A becomes equal or greater than 50, break away from the, um, uh, the while loop. So I'm going to say if A bigger or equal to 50, then break, end. And what I want to do is I want to say step to D or I'll actually make it 3D. Put two tabs in here. 
and I want to give CNT there too because I have two number formats this one and this one so I need to have two number values given to my fprintf so this is going to run at most 100 times but it's going to break from the loop if a is equal or more than 50 and let's see if that actually happens so at step 97 a is equal to 50.0056 but because this is a random number I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, less or more than 100 again if I run it so here at step 101 it reached um, 4493 and that's because I added the thing in here so the best way to actually do that is to say one in here and add this there and it still added a 100 and one to the um, CNT so I didn't expect to get that well, let's put else and do it here put a tab there so now at step 101 still it gave me 49.6755 so uh, I can try multiple times. Now this time as step 96, it reached a value. Let's decrease this to maybe 20 or 25. So I think it will happen quicker. At step 53, I reached A is equal to 25.1858. And it will basically, because A, this condition became true, this break trigger was, or break command was triggered and it broke from the while loop and did not continue with the rest of the iterations. And at the end here, I used the fprintf to tell me at which step, what a did I, uh, or what a value did I achieve. You can also do a uh, continue in, uh, in a for loop like we did in the in a, in a while loop that like we did in the for loop it's very simple to that the only difference between the for while loop and a, uh, and a for loop is that in a while loop you need to have a condition that makes the or allows the while loop to run while that condition is true here I've said while a is less than or equal to a hundred run it or CNT is less than or equal to a hundred um, run this command let me actually make this zero and see what happens so at step 41, we got to that, and I want to change this again back to 50. At step 97, so depending on the breaking condition, uh, we can have a, a certain number of steps to reach the condition that breaks from the while loop. And here again, let me just run this. See that at step 41, I got the condition that breaks from the for loop or the while loop. And again, this is uh, a basic way to teach you how to use while loops in your scripts.